Our next recipient probably deserves a Sue Award just for the thousands of babies he delivered at All True Hospital during his long career as an OBGYN. But Dr. Michael Brown also spent two decades as mayor of this fine city, leading flood recovery and economic development efforts while strengthening the town and gown relationship between UND and City Hall. Michael Brown already had two degrees in hand when he joined the Air Force and was stationed at Grand Forks, where he served as a missile launch control officer. He enrolled at UND to pursue his lifelong dream of becoming a doctor. Thus began a 30-year career at All True Health System as an OBGYN. In 2000, he won election to be mayor of Grand Forks, a position he held for 20 years. It's never about Dr. Brown. It's always about you and me and the community whether the community is the all-true community, or his patients, or Grand Forks, or the UND family. It's about service to others. So he has led by being a servant, by understanding, embodying the principle that it is caring for others that is the truest manifestation of a leader. People often speak of um, being a servant and leader. Um, it's one thing to say it, the other thing to do it, and, and Mayor Brown really is that servant leader. So when you work under the leadership of Mayor Brown, um, he allows you to be the very best that you can be um, when you work for him. He celebrates your successes. Uh, if there's something that goes wrong, he, he takes that on himself. But he has the ability just to be, and a lot of people just can't be, and Mayor Brown can just be uh, within his own self. And by be, doing that as a leader, he allows everybody else to shine and to grow and to develop. Dr. Brown's successful legacy as mayor includes flood recovery, economic development, and a strengthened town and gown relationship with UND. So given, given the, the involvement of UND in the community, it's important to also recognize that there are some tensions that come from that relationship. And uh, Mayor Brown was good about acknowledging those points of conflict and then trying to see what we could do to improve them. I, got, I had the privilege to work with him um, with the city of Grand Forks. He always led us to be the very best we can be um, because he was always the best that he could be. He was probably, I would have to say, uh, Mayor Brown never had a bad day. And so when you work with a leader that never has a bad day and always takes things in stride, uh, he makes work a lot of fun. And when you're having fun at work, you're doing lots of great things. Dr. My Dr. Michael Brown for collaborating with UND and leading this city for 20 years to a place of prosperity for your stellar medical career, military service. Please come forward. Well, thank, you. thank you very much. Um, it was how do we get to yes? And that was how we approached everything. So I want to say thank you, Deanna, and thank you, everyone, because at Arm Cost, thank you to the UND Alumni Association and Foundation for this award. When Deanna called two years ago to congratulate me on being nominated for the Sue Award, I thought it was a prank call. <laughs> but she sounded sincere and enthusiastic, so I thought I'd better let her talk. So I'm glad I did. It still doesn't seem real. I would like to thank my family for their support and sacrifice in these many challenging times, which were chains of my own making. I'd like to thank the community of Grand Forks for its support during my 20 years as mayor as we recover from the flood of 1997 and entered an economic boom which continues to this day. 
UND is and has been a catalyst for change in my life and in the life of my wife, Anne. We're both fortunate to have attended the University of North Dakota School of Medicine. What a positive difference it has made in our lives and in the community in which we live. We had many positive role models to help us learn and grow as caregivers. When I was younger, I read Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning on the airplane flying to our sister city in Kanama, Japan. In the middle of the book, he states, life is a series of random events, and how we respond to these events gives life meaning. I closed the book. That wasn't the answer I wanted. But in, but in retrospect, we choose our path with the tools we've acquired in life, whether it's nature, nurture, or both. Next, I read the last lecture by Randy Powers, who was a professor diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And he wrote an inspirational, heartwarming book about living, not dying to his students and his legacy to his three young children. I've discovered we expect our leaders to dream. John D. Odegaard with the UND School of Aerospace and Tom Clifford and Dr. Venice with the UND School of Medicine. Every state of the city, I gave people permission to work towards the dreams of a greenway, can add in at the Alaris Center, Choice Health and Fitness, a water treatment plant, and better roads. And I discovered in my life a few worthwhile tools. Keep it simple, make it fun. That was our troop motto in Okinawa and scouting. And succeeding in life is a team sport. I've been fortunate in scouting, in the military, in medicine, and in public service to have assembled an A-team to help me fulfill my goal of improving and serving my community. What message do I have for the students here tonight? You are blessed to have this university which offers the tools to help you make a difference in the world. We inherently feel good serving others. And this is evident in the other recipients of the Sue Award. This award certainly makes those who receive it feel good and proud and validated for their hard work that leads to achievements recognized tonight. It certainly is the highest award of my professional life and the one of which I am most grateful. What we do, we do for ourselves dies with us. What we do for others lives on. That great philosopher Willie Nelson once said when introducing a member of his band, wisdom comes with age, but sometimes age comes alone. <laughs> so students, don't let that be you. Use the tools you acquire here at UND and make a difference. Thank you. <laughs>